Nottinghamshire move just ahead of their opponents Hampshire with wickets at regular intervals on the second day of the LV County Championship match at the Aegeus Bowl. The visitors were able to add 70 runs to their overnight 301 for 6 on the second morning in spite of losing Alex Hales in the 6th over as he missed a whip to leg to be bowled by Andre Adams. Hales had added only 5 to his overnight 136 and was soon followed back to the pavilion by Vernon Philander. Liam Dawson was his third catch of the innings. Will Gidman had done well in sticking with Hales on the previous evening, but having got to 34, he was given out caught behind even though he didn't think he'd touched the ball. That left Nottinghamshire on 324 for 9 and they were, in the end, thankful to their last pair of Jake Ball and Luke Wood for getting them up as far as 371. 19-year-old Wood, in just his second first-class match, looked good in making his undefeated 26. That being the same score made by Ball, a championship best, before he allowed a straight delivery from Dawson to hit his stumps. Nottinghamshire would have taken a total of 371 having been put in, and they would have been equally as pleased when Philander bowled Dawson, who also misjudged the line and length of this delivery. The visitors have drawn their first two matches of the summer, and one of the main reasons for that has been their lack of firepower with the ball in their hands. They obviously have the talent at their disposal, even though they were without both Luke Fletcher and Harry Gurney for this game, while Ball delivered only 11 balls before going off with a back problem. But again, they found it difficult to prize out many wickets in spite of getting rid of Dawson in the third over. The latest to hold them up were Jimmy Adams and Michael Carberry, two men who've spent an age at the crease together over the last few years. They were to do it again here, as they added 66 together in 24 overs. So Wood was delighted to bring an end to the promising partnership, Carberry edging the left armour to Samit Patel when on 30. James Vince has not been in his best form at the start of this season, but may be in England's thoughts, as they name the squad to face Ireland next month. He made a start here, supporting his skipper who reached his second 50 of the season before T. This one had used up 122 balls and was reached courtesy of his ninth boundary. He would have been looking to go on in the final session, which began with his team responding well on 102 for 2, 269 runs behind. It was all going along nicely for the home team, one which matched the much-fancied Warwickshire all the way last week. They were doing the same against another big First Division team, with Vince and Adams adding 58 runs for the third wicket before both departed in quick succession. Wood was having a day to remember and was overjoyed when he sent Adams packing for 61. Chris Reid employed behind the stumps as always. And then Vince, who'd looked good for his 32, decided to take on a throw from the deep from Philander to earn a second run. That return was both flat and quick and right at the base of the stumps and Reid whipped off the bales to send Vince on his way. He could hardly believe what he'd done. It meant an important final hour to the day. More wickets and Nottinghamshire would have been on top. But before bad lights took the players off, Will Smith played smartly against his former county to score 25, while Adam Wheater played against his natural game in getting to five off 30 balls. So Hampshire closed on 167 for four, and that leaves them still 204 runs behind going into day three. But with the likes of Sean Irvin, Gareth Berg and Danny Briggs to come, they will hope to reduce the deficit to a minimum.